All right, so we're back here again with even more supposed Resident Evil 9 rumors, leaks, whatever you want to call them at this point. I do want to start out by saying that this game has had a lot of news in terms of like leaks and rumors and stuff, more so than I think Village ever did, which is weird. So again, you know, with all the leaks and all rumors, take it with a bit of a pinch of salt because, again, it's not fact until it's officially announced. But nevertheless, um, you guys seem to like when we talk about them. So let's talk about them today. So this one, there isn't much to go off of, but um, it is interesting because it does kind of change what I would consider RE9 would have been about quite drastically. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go for it. All right, so I'll go through the list of what it says now. Uh, again, it's only like two, three points. So Leon is said to be the main character, or at least one of the main characters, it says. And the game is set in the summer of 2025, so next year. Um, that is kind of on par with what they do now. I think Village and Seven were set in the year they released, so no change there. And this time it mentions that the setting is going to be in like a Southeast Asia kind of area. And I think this point does kind of leave it out, but I think what I read more about that was that it's going to be set in like Singapore or something like that. But this again does say that open world is something that is going to possibly be a thing. Now, again, I've made a video about open world, and I don't think the series is necessarily going to work with a fully open world game. I think what we had in Village, and to an extent the 4 remake, was enough. But I don't think a fully fledged open world, not only do I think that isn't exactly what they mean by open world, but I don't think it would work at all. So, there's that. But there's a lot of interesting things to take away from this. First of all, this is kind of, to me, at least a bit of a curveball from what we saw at the end of Village. You know, I was always kind of assuming that uh, the next game would be following Chris, going to the BSA Europe HQ, and having some big confrontation with maybe other characters involved as well. And that makes more sense. But to go from that to Leon messing around in like Singapore, in Asia, like on the other side of the, the planet, is very weird, <laughs> to say the least. Now, I don't know game development, you know, I'm not a game dev, uh, so I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. All I know is, you know, this game has been in development for a long, long time. It's a very ambitious game, and it's got a pretty high budget, so... They could have changed the game multiple times, and we know recently from certain discussions and stuff that even Village was meant to be like a spin-off game, but they eventually made it like the next game. So, who really knows what they're doing at this point? Um... I think the setting, it does sound cool, I don't think it's really been done, I think the last time I can kind of remember it being like focused in an Asia setting is like in 6, when like, you're in the city. I believe it's in China in 6, I think, I could be wrong. So going back there is maybe more of a grounded game compared to 6 would be pretty cool, um, but I think a lot of where the issues kind of stand is the story direction, because again there is a bit of a curveball compared to the end of Village, and having it be following Leon in a completely different place doesn't really make sense, but again, I don't know game devs, I don't know the plan. And then another kind of few concerns I've seen is with it being Leon again, and I do kind of have a little bit to say about this, um, in terms of like, people and characters and who who's in the games and who isn't in the games and whatever, and I do want to talk about that now. So let's be realistic for a little bit. Um, in terms of remakes and characters that appear in remakes, I don't count that, okay? So, you got Resident Evil 2 remake, Resident Evil 4 remake, obviously Leon is kind of central to those games. Um, but I don't consider that a overuse of the character. It is literally a remake of a game that already exists, so it's whatever. But Chris, on the other hand, six, seven, and eight in a row, he's been involved in those games heavily. So, well, maybe not seven heavily, but he's in the game. You know, he's, he's a presence in the game. And that's where I start to feel like the oversaturation of a character is used because it's a new game, new storyline, and you've got the same character over and over again. But with the remakes, it's different because the game already exists, this is not them overusing the character, this is just them remaking that game that their character happened to be in. Um, and if you look realistically, the last time that Leon was in the game was Resident Evil 6, which was a long time ago. And if you really want to dig more into it, the only games he's really been in are 2, 4 and 6. So, there's a lot less, well not a lot less, but there's a few less games that he's been involved in compared to Chris, which is obviously a lot more games, because a lot of people consider him and Jill like the main characters. So. It makes sense that he's more present. Now, would I like to see more characters um, that aren't Chris and Leon in the games? Absolutely. I think there are characters uh, that haven't been used in a long time and that do kind of need to come back in some way. I think Jill is probably the primary one there. Um, but a lot of people do think Claire. 
I think with the story beat that they were originally planning to set up in 9, that, that Jill would have made the most sense to come back. Um, but again, I don't know game design. They could be doing something that makes sense with Leon. But um, I mean, a lot of people have said that maybe 9 is kind of like a bridge game. And maybe Leon's tracked down the connections or something like that. I don't know. Like, either way, as long as it fits into the storylines we have, as long as it kind of introduces those storylines into a more forefront position, like the connections or Blue Umbrella or whatever, that's fine, but if it's just some other curveball that's just completely separate to any of that, it would be a bit weird. Um, but it, it just depends, really, where it fits, if it makes sense, and obviously if it's good. Um, but again, it's all speculation at the moment, because it's no facts just yet. In terms of open world, I don't really want to go into that more again. I've made a video already, and my thoughts are kind of out there with open world already. So, we all know what I think about that. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link it uh, in the description so you can go check it out. But so that pretty much covers everything in terms of the nine rumors that are going around at the moment. Overall, I think the kind of reception to these is a bit of a mixed bag. Um, I think a lot of the opinions people have of things I've already said, with Leon being the character in the game, uh, the location being very different to what was originally seeming to be set up in the in the Resident Evil 9 in the village. But um, yeah, again, I'll have to wait and see what happens when there's some kind of announcement. Speaking of announcement. At the time of recording this video, because I did have to kind of shuffle thing, some things around in terms of my schedule to get this video up earlier, um, it seems the PlayStation event, or whatever it's going to be, is happening at the end of May. So a little bit closer than the rumoured June announcement for the next Resident Evil. Um, again, there's a, still a big chance that it's going to be announced in June, because there's a lot of uh, game events that happen in June. There is obviously the Summer Games Fest, which is the start of June, and then other studios which usually have some kind of announcements period during the summer. So we'll see but it seems the playstation 1 is happening a little bit earlier than uh, usual so that's cool but yeah that's pretty much going to sum up everything in terms of newer information if there's anything new between now and any kind of announcement i'll be sure to post about it as soon as possible but yeah leave your thoughts on this kind of information down below is it something that interests you is it something that's just out of nowhere um and again as always with leaks just kind of take it with a bit of doubt until you see anything solid so yeah thank you for watching and as always i'll catch you in the next one